Hello, this is Mike Groupthink. After not uploading a video in a long time, I have decided to review this new software I've got, Sony Vegas Movie Studio HD11, which I've used to replace the NCH video pad and which I've been using to edit my recent videos. This is also my first time using Microsoft Expression Encoder, though I'm sure no one cares. Um, I'm also reading this from a sheet of paper as I'm terrible at speaking coherently since my brain wants to say this, this all at once. I just stuttered there, so you know what I mean. I know I don't have to do this since I'm adding additional stress to myself and I think this video will only get 40 views, but two people might find it useful, so there you go. Let's get on to the review here. So first off, it's easy to edit. All you have to do is like... Move the tremor to a section you want, press S key on the keyboard, um, click on the part you don't want, delete it, there you go, huzzah. Um, it's easy to create transitions, seen here, just move the footage, and this area is your transition, so let's see what it's like. Nice, so, anyway. Um, there's a bunch of special effects right here, the event effects, all this stuff right here. I use cookie cutter and linear blur to create a blur effect, which I'll explain shortly. Um, best part is I don't have to manually upload videos like I had to do in VideoPad. It's all right here. So anything I need is right here. Just showing you it right here. So anyway, some of the disappointments, um... The help menu, I click on it, and nothing happens, so I use F1, creates this, I typed in Faden, all this pops up. Um, if you need help with anything, just go to a YouTube tutorial, it'll probably be, be more helpful. Um, show me how, it won't work while I'm using the encoder, but basically what it does is Shows you aspects of the program using big flash and rectangles. So if I can show it next. See, you show the it's further, but it won't let me go any further. So see it for yourself. Um, there it goes again. Um, the main steps needed to create a blur. Well, first off, what you have to do is create a duplicate track here, and then freeze this out. Go up here, um, use Sony, go to Sony Cookie Cutter, where the is it, add, use Sony Linear Blur, then add, and then type in OK, and you can move this any way you want, let's blur out that girl's face, so you can adjust its size. It's a bit tedious. It's not much of a blur, I take it, so... Anyway, I've showed it. There you go, so... It's not much of a blur, but... Oh yeah, you can't control Z a lot, but... You have to remove the selected plugin, so... There you go. <laughs> That's kind of an inconvenience. Also, about the trimmer... When you play something... I'll focus on the trimmer that's moving and not the trimmer that's steady still, but I find that kind of annoying since it, you tend to forget where it is, but and I'm not complaining, but just want to go, remove the duplicate layer since I'm not going to do anything. Um, disappointments, let's see what else, oh yeah, text. Um, it's a, let's see if I can find it. Media generation. It's hard to find where the text is, which is another problem. Uh, put it down here. Great. B. There's not a lot of fonts. Like this font right here, two cent empty condensed extra bold. It's in Microsoft Word, but not in um, Sony Vegas Movie Studios. So you have to go somewhere and download it yourself. Um, I had to, there's no, like, also no fonts like this, the hollow fonts, so, let's 
see what it is. Yeah, it's kind of a cool effect, but you can't get it from uh, Vegas Movie Studio by itself, so you have to upload it somewhere. So, yeah, that's not cool. Um, also, about text. While we're on text, let me just put it back here again. Make it B and change it to no. There's also presets here. I accidentally mixed text on them by mistake, so. Um, okay. One thing you should note is that you can't change the text by just clicking on it. You have to click here, which I find annoying. Also, if you're familiar as a newspaper editor with the term master page, there's no way to, or like basically layers, there's no way to save a preset with text. So you're constantly, so you either have to like copy paste text forever or just like continuously manually do it. But anyway, yeah kind of sucks there so I know this isn't really a clear review but I'm not really a clear speaker so what I mean is well I shouldn't probably get over my head um this pretty much concludes oh yeah one thing no saving titles or text so that I know of it's hidden by me so anyone else can help me there with it that would be great anyway that's all this is just a preliminary review i haven't tried it all nor do i intend to just what i need to do with my video my videos so future videos will be uploaded soon they were supposed to be uploaded today but i kind of resolved to work on them further to make them look better so thanks for watching this video and thanks for keeping up with the mumbling and Thanks for watching.